Testing. Okay, got audio good. If you're new to the channel, I'm Aaron Hallett. I write original Christian rock. I just came out here. It's afternoon. It's after the gym, so I'm a little bit sleepy. I've actually been doing this thing called a mini cut. For the last, like, year, I've been putting on weight and inevitably start to get a little bit too much body fat. So I'm doing, like, a four-week mini cut. You eat the same amount of protein and cut the calories of, like, the fats and the carbs down, and it works. You retain your muscle and lose the fat, but I'm just, like... A little bit sleepy by the end of the day. <laughs> anyway, though, I'm going to record an original song. That's what I'm doing with these videos. And I just write original Christian rock. It's probably not, like, obviously Christian rock. It's just that it is. I'm going to do a really easy song for today. So I'm thinking kind of like maybe like a 4, 5, 3, 2 progression would work. And then for the chorus, maybe I'll go like... <laughs> So chor okay, that was the verse, then chorus. Easy stuff. Okay, verse, chorus, good, sorted out. I'm just going to do verse, chorus, repeat three times. You're going to hear a drum loop that's there to keep time, and it'll be replaced by me actually playing a part. I'm going for it. Left and right guitar. Okay, so now I need some overdubs for this. I'm probably going to do a tapping thing. I haven't done that in a while, so... Yeah, I could do, like, major. A major, just B major. That should work. The chorus, I'll probably just double that up. I did like uh, some different things on the right side just because I felt like it. So maybe I'll uh, thicken it up. Yeah, here we go. I'm going to improvise the guitar solo on this, so it's going to be on the third verse. What key is this in? E major. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to improvise a bass solo, bass part now. I almost said bass solo. Could do that, but meh. Uh, I think I'm going to borrow from the one guitar dub I did and just do like... A, G sharp, E thing. Yeah, I should work through the whole thing. Okay, that'll be a cool back rhythm. Okay, here I go. I'm going to move on to the drums, but right before I do that, I'm just going to lay down a keyboard part. I think I'm going to go uh, F sharp. Yeah. I'm not going to record that on the video, though, because I'm going to do it like once and loop it because it's going to be all the way through the song. And it's kind of boring to just sit there. Do, 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 do. So I'm not going to do that. Um, I also might do the chords in the chorus part with like a synth string thing, so I'll just go like A major, B major, G sharp minor, C sharp minor. Actually, I did them different order. That was the verse progression, but you know what I mean. Uh, I'm going to do that real quick, and then I'm going to sit down at the drums and just start playing to the metronome. <laughs> Okay, I've been warming up my voice, thought long and hard about lyrics for five minutes. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I got an idea here, so I'm just gonna run with it. I don't know if you've been up too late, but I've been trying to reach you. 
I just finished that up. I was debating doing a chorus harmony, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to do the same thing I did in the last song. I'm going to double it up, but I'm not going to do it on camera because if I so if I show two vocals and you don't hear harmony, it seems kind of weird. But I'm just going to sing the exact same chorus part. I'm just going to punch in at the chorus, sing it, you know, how I would be doing it off camera. Double it up. Just make it sound a little bigger. I'm running the vocals through like a tape saturation thing and some other stuff that's not happening as I record it. I don't want to introduce latency and everything. I'm also going to turn on this plugin when I actually uh, export the song. It's a tape saturation thing too. Just kind of adds a little oomph to it. But uh, yeah, what am I even thinking here? I'm like so tired and out of it. Um, <laughs> the lyrics are going to be down at the bottom. You can check those out. Up above there is a whole bunch of stuff where you can just see where you can purchase or follow links to get my music online. Above that, at the very top of the description box, you're going to see PastorMelissaScott.com Take my headphones off. I have that there because, like I said, this is Christian rock, and I just decided to put in a link, which is, as far as I'm concerned anyway, the best Bible teacher you're going to find anywhere. Pastor Melissa Scott, Pastor's Faith Center in Glendale, California. Her late husband, Dr. Gene St- Dr. Gene Scott was the pastor there from 76, maybe 75, 76. I always say 76, but it might even be 75. He went to 2005 when he passed away. Pastor Scott took over and she's been there since. So combined, they got like 50 years worth of teaching. If you go to the website, they play his stuff. They play her stuff on two separate streams. And then there's a combined stream and it just plays uh, an assortment. They also have the uh, Sunday service and anything live on that same stream when it happens. So So I think they just like switch over or whatnot. And they've been doing a live stream on their YouTube channel. They (laughs) started out and it was just like a week long. And then they started like uh, turning it off and on again just to like reset it. But yeah, it's fantastic teaching. I can't say enough about it. If you go to the website, you're just going to see study notes, translations from the original languages and stuff like that. Their whole thing is they're not introducing a bunch of stuff most most churches do. Most churches are going by a whole bunch of traditions and baggage they got piled on. Here, all you're getting is the Bible in context, all of it. They translate from the original languages because any English translation is going to leave a lot to be desired, especially if you're coming from New Testament Greek, which is a very precise language language. And uh, the Hebrew is a bit vague, but idioms and that sort of stuff just gets lost. They're doing stuff where they're just getting the exact meaning of the Bible. It's just teaching, nothing else. No trying to do whatever most other places are doing. So if you go check it out, that's what you're getting. Just teaching. Yeah, so that's there. My stuff is available. So subscribe, like, comment, share. You'll keep seeing me. I'm going to keep writing songs. Thanks for watching. I'm going to let the song play now so you can see how it came out. Bye. I don't know if you've been up too late, but I've been trying to reach you. Holding on with a weak grasp, as my fingers break away. I wanted to succeed.